Robots blasting and bashing each other to bits is a concept near and dear to my heart, and on that level, Disintegration single player campaign delivers. Its creative approach to first person shooting is also intriguing, since it has you floating above the action and calling the shots for a team of bots on the ground while you're firing away. But it's not as smart as it looks, and what seemed like it could get interesting and tactical never really did. Disintegration's 15-hour campaign doesn't do a great job of setting up the conflict between the evil red-eyed robots and the good blue-eyed rebels, but a lot of that history eventually comes out in between mission dialogue with your cohorts. Most of them have been integrated, which is the technology of transferring a human consciousness into a robot body. As former celebrity pilot Romer Scholl, you lead your team in a series of missions to take down the enemy's massive flying fortress. The voice acting does lend these bots some good diverse personalities, and that gives the story's events a little bit of weight at least. Thank you. I did not care for that. Hey, you handled yourself. You might have even hit one. I apologize for the trouble I've caused. Disintegration isn't the prettiest of games, but it does have some good diversity to its settings. Visually, at least, no two are alike. Mission design, on the other hand, leans heavily on throwing wave after wave of the same handful of enemies at you as you move through a linear gauntlet. Blasting them like Star Wars battle droids is a fair amount of fun for a while, not because their AI is especially good or anything, but because rather than literally disintegrating, they explode into chunks in a satisfying way. That's one thing Disintegration does better than most games. Your guns will tear apart the environment in a pretty dramatic fashion, reducing wood to splinters and even shattering concrete barriers that enemies were using as cover. It's not Red Faction or anything, but it definitely makes the weapons and explosions feel powerful and look cool. But combat gets stale pretty quickly, because even though it's a squad-based game where you get a bird's eye view of the battlefield, Disintegration isn't tactical at all. Where something like Mass Effect allows you to tell each unit where to go and what abilities to use when they get there, this is more like directing a mob. You can't tell your Iron Giant style Hulk buddy to play Rock'em Sock'em Robots with the big guys while the more agile soldiers take on the fodder because there's only one everybody attack this target or open that box button and they all act as one. It's very simple. You do get to direct your squad members to individually use their special abilities, like grenades and ground pounds, and they can be used as combos for extra damage but they're not interesting to use because positioning doesn't matter much, so it's just a matter of waiting for the cooldowns and then casting them again. You have to keep your team alive to use them though, and also so they can absorb all the enemy fire that your fragile flying motorcycle can't. Depending on what gear you're given for a mission, that can be tricky to do, like if you don't have any healing abilities and have to rely on pickups. But of course, if one does go down, all you have to do is retrieve their head and they'll rock it back onto the field a few seconds later in a shiny new body, so you don't need to sweat it much if they explode. Then there are the boss battles, which look and sound great but are usually pretty weak. They boil down to shooting it until it goes down, then getting right up in its armpit and hovering there, holding down the fire button until it explodes. It only got a little challenging when I had to deal with two at once. What's especially frustrating is that you have zero control over your squad composition or your vehicle's loadout. Every mission just hands it all to you, and all you get to do is pump in a few upgrade points for stat boosts. I get that I'm being walked through different roles I'll need to know for multiplayer, like the healer and the sniper, but it's a bit annoying to have things like how you heal yourself change from level to level, and not be able to pick a favorite gun or robot and develop it. That lack of continuity made levels feel like a string of unrelated battles, and it practically kills replayability. Having no customization seems like a really poor design choice. Flying around and giving orders to cool looking robots is a neat concept, but the simple shooting and squad management of Disintegration's single player campaign make it fall pretty flat after a while. The surprising lack of customization and progression make the battles feel disconnected outside of the story, which has some decent characters but is otherwise a pretty straightforward rebellion against evil robot overlords. For more on Disintegration, stand by for our review of the multiplayer mode, which will finalize soon after it launches on June 16th. In the meantime, check out some gameplay, and for everything else, stick with IGN. Never tire of that sound.